in this cabinet? I mean, we have a glowing door again. Let us click it. Oh, the collar, the neck, the noose. Two cups of flour, one cup of water, a pinch of salt, a handful of mi mince, a bay leaf, an herb, and a skeleton key for the nursery, and a mixing we will go together. On to the next door. Alright, here we go. Locked. Shh! You don't need to be so loud. The factory offices. All the suggestions of a large workforce, yet no actual signs of life. It, see, it is as every bit as if someone has attempted to carefully create the illusion of a working factory complex. Yet this facade, when closely or examined closely, is clearly just a false falsification. But I must put aside my anxieties and quell the unease that pits my stomach and continue my path. Continue on my path. May 1st, 19, or 1899. But then, what if they could stand upright and walk as men? What if the brutes were harnessed thus? They would sing. What if they would find their own god? I have seen these things, and I will tell you now, no, no, they will not. But they will happily accept feet to god up thrust upon them, and worship is thus given, and thus I once... Past. I understand the shackles must be set to free you, man. Cut. Interesting. Let's get some light in here. Always gotta be hallways. This music is creepy. What? That's enough of that trip. August 22nd, 1899. In America, they talk of building their cities into the skies. To me, this seems folly, but perhaps it is simply the case of the nation founded on a history of its own. We walk upon our histories. They are compacted into the very loom beneath our feet. The engines we employ talk of this. Or, the engineers we employ talk of this. They talk how... They talked of how... When the building the underground trains, they were often come across older tunnels crisscrossing the capital where the palaces lie buried beneath us we digging digging excavating and reappropriating what we find at the center of the planet my architects tell me there is a great iron ball it is the egg of the world that whole thing with the floating to the ceiling was pretty creepy not gonna lie. Alright, we take on the... Even creepier... Doorways. I swear to you, 
Half open doors are nothing more than scare factors. They're the creepiest things that they could put in the game. We're outside again. <sighs> we interrogate the very last knowledge, or latest knowledge of the chemistry. We integrated. Blah, I can't read. My back is cramped and I am in extreme fear. Using the low levels of laudium to treat the substance of the process. This means that by dragging them from the holding pens into their lines, they are less likely to panic and damage the machine components or other products themselves. This section of the belt seed and rubber keep lit in good spirits. We have actually found that this in placements of graphones, simple and acoustic amplification of tubes around means we can music much further and to sue the product. Alright. They have tubes going everywhere. Locked. I hate stairways. Lots of blood. Locked. Pumping station. It appears to be some kind of fueling station. I've seen automobiles demonstrated at Mr. Yar Yarham's and Mr. Simmons' work, but the smell here is all wrong. It's not petroleum. That, that Of that, I am sure. Everything suggests this machine must be significant in some way. Significant indeed. Music, you really need to stop, man. Doors, I swear to God. Notes. Imagine, they say, a machine that one day might think like a man. As this would be desired, one might almost boast the creation creating a man who breeds like breeding who breeds like a pig. Men and women upon all fours, running carelessly, ejaculating their filthy masses. Uh, oh God, my back is killing me. It's nodding up. And during these moments of peace, that's all I think about. Alleys and gutters, running freely and carelessly, joining air thick bodies, streaking their own emissions. The world is so utterly displaced. Condition. No, this is not the machine we seek. Such an entity would be nothing less than a deity, and we would fall upon our knees to worship it. We shall not carve gods to bicker and fornicate. They will exist to clean the world and set us free. I reject Babbage as I reject these men of government. Let the pigs copulate in the gutters while I can. We shall scoop them up and ease their ascension soon enough. I don't know what this guy's babbling on about, but whatever.
big old moon. It's like really freaking big. Nope. Delivery schedule. How in blazes are we supposed to meet these damn schedules? Even the basic equipment we are provided will not simply perform under designated function. These cursed newfangled trucks only run on the fraction of the distance of my old nag managed to run before running out stick gasoline. After the gaffer says we're fine and there's plenty of pump to refill them outside the factory walls, but you end up dragging the blessed can from the truck to the nearest one to refill it. One of the in one of the storerooms is empty again. I can't be turning the crank all day to find out that the tank is empty. Well, sod it, I say. Enough for a night, and to be to my bed I go. It's not like anyone needs access to the bleeding graveyard anyway. Harry, if you get this, I'll meet you at Desmond's Templar for a jar. All right. Holy orders. The church is connected to the plant. How odd. However, it does suggest another route into the main part of the factory facility. The, given that the doors are locked around the fueling station, the truck blocks my way. However, almost as if the saboteur knew I might consider this alternative entrance. Come on, Papa. Let's Whoa. climb this one. I can see more pictures at the top. Everything says go on that door, and I don't want to go on that door. Alright, so I guess I go on that door. lights we're there now we're I think I get this. Okay, so we were there. Now we're here. It's kind of like where we are in the the factory, I guess. Okay. It's like those red lights creep me out. Is there something in here? No, I can't jump up in there. My journal. A strange container. This canister look as if it may fit the fuel pump I saw earlier. It certainly carries the same unholy reek. And I will not think about a cage, blah blah blah, blah dark machine room. More immediate test percentage. Access to the church. Alright. To the fueling station I go. music oh man this music is horrible Oh shit! Uh. 
I ticked off something. I don't know what, but I... <sighs> I've asked to get away. Dear sweet lord of all things that is good and holy, I must make my escape grasp of the container and its putrid contents and flee this place before that creature, that nearly man returns. I will head for the church. Surely such an abomination could not follow into that hallowed ground. Okay. I didn't know I could push that. I'm spinning as fast as I can! Gimme, 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 gimme! Let's just tip it upside down, that's fine. Run, 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 run! At least when I'm on the open, I can... Alright, where does this thing go now? That's the question. Oh! I guess I found it. Okay. I get to drive a car. I get to drive a car. Drive a car? I don't get to drive a car. Worthless car. Only. Hey, so, Papa, come and see. Will it hatch? Can we take it home? Yes, my darlings. Of course we can take it home. They sound so sweet and innocent. Then they try to. They try to bring home this evil, evil thing. I don't know. Some weird grave symbols. There's a normal one. Alright. Whoa, what is going on there? I was like bouncing down the stairs. Church, glowing church doors, how ominous. Livestock and Bibles. Higgity piggity blue china eyes. My love comes for me in the fairest disguise. We skip and we trot. We, we skips and we totters. I seize her totter. Wow. Okay. Find and enter the porcelain. Ah. Wasn't fast enough on that one. Journal entry, though, inside the church. St. Dustin. We sat here, I remember. We sat in our black, and we mourned, and we prayed, and we borrowed our heads. How I hated God then. How I spunned him, spurned him. If it is our Lord, this pig who robs me of my wife, I refute his embrace. I will carve a new God for us all. Such madness, I was such a fool, or such a fool I was. If this blasphemous ravaging ravings had remind me then, I would be doomed. But even here, I feel the machine throb beneath the flag, and I know my path awaits me. Cool. Cool beans, dude. To talk so freaking funny, just make normal sentences, please. Oh, these doors are going to be annoying. I got notes. November 23rd, 1899. We're getting closer to the dawn of the 1900s. Uh, twin candles. Bend the will of the central saints, casting their light in the corners of the chapel. Father Jeremiah, I thought, could be trusted with the secret, but he is like all the others. 
So the old priests have gone to holding pens with the flock. He says he will enter into our world with them. A shepherd indeed. What's in your drawers, Mr. Father? Nothing. Creepy music on the top of that. Get out of my way. And scrolls. He keeps scrolls. All right. It's a good pastime. Left or right, I'll always pick the one with the half-open doors. Sooner or later, that's going to bite me in the butt. Start playing music. Your faith shackles your vision, Professor. It is an iron coffin that keeps you from grasping the future. We require a new deity, one of steam and the wheel of magnetism and progress. The old god is nothing more than a lame fog, spitting back awful at mankind. Continue checking out this. This, I think, just leads the other way. I don't think there's anything over here. We'll just go to the continually louder and more annoying uh, organ music. See, this is what I don't understand. They have Bibles, but they keep talking about this pig. Oh, I'm gonna walk right down the middle of the church. That's fine. It's fine. I don't know what this door is though. First. I see. All makes sense in the world. Notes. Father Jeremiah's Journal, October 1st, or 1899. I keep wanting to say 1999. Ugh. They flock to us now, where once I had walked amongst them to bring salvation to their lives, now drawn by the warmth in winter, by the food that Mandus distributes. My church is fill full and my charges are saved. He walks amongst them and they worship, almost worship him. He will not allow them to work in his factories, claiming that his workforce are specially trained for the new machinery that he uses, and that they would be irresponsible, nay, unethical, to risk such precious lives as he sees here. A changed man since Mexico, it is to be praised that in the face of such appalling tragedy and from the confines of his sickbed, he, he is often chained to... He conducts one of the greatest and most benevolent charities in all of London. Not content with the rise of becoming dominant food produced by the businesses and lands, he distributes his good will, his fares to the poor, and they congregate about his kingdom in gratitude. All right. Things awfully bright. Oh, I can grab it. I was wondering why that was so bright. I thought it might have just been a graphical glitch. I don't know why I'm taking this with me. Whatever. Might be just one of those weird objects you can grab like a chair. Up to the altar. Now that's just... Wrong. Oh, 
Oh, that's really cool. I actually really like that. Good game design. Good game design. A lever? Can't pull it. Can we push it? Nope. Can't do anything. Whoa. Okay, I don't know what's going on there. I'm sure there's something to do with something. That's locked, okay. Oh. Back. Back. I wanted this one. A cryptic clue. Some kind of mechanism. A secret and infernal one, no doubt. The missing candlestick is clearly the answer. But why? This is... Uh, why this I cannot fathom. Why hide secret machinery in such a place of prayer? And where are the faithful? Why are there drag marks about the altar? As if someone was pulled away. Well, I know what the candlestick was for now. That random piece of garbage that I thought was garbage is not garbage. It's a key. And where did I throw it? Is the question. There it is. Turn. We have fire. The engine fires and the flames are stoked. I hear steam in the walls, vibrations upon the very air. My heart flatters, falters at the prospect of throwing the lever and exposing the workings of this dark contraption. But my children beckon me and I cannot fail them. Yes, we cannot fail the children. A hellish portal. It appears I have no choice. I thus descend, and may God have mercy on my soul. If this is Bedlam, I am to be cast away as Matthews. Then I will wear the mantle for the sake of my boys and face whatever horrors lie beneath the altar. I don't want to face the horrors? Can't we all just, you know, be friends? Oh, this is getting really dark. Oh, this is getting really dark. Oh, God. I think I'm now sealed in here. I think I'm now sealed in here. And I'm sorry, it's so dark. I refuse to... I'm not using my lantern for more than a, a couple seconds at a time. Listen, Papa. Hold the egg to your ear. You can hear the sea. Baby's crying, and that's not cool. I see a note. Give me, give me the note. On feud, with the stench, be parts of found. It's so dark. Come 
Kirak. Prosto. Fendir. Fendir. Mastikakan. Ola iste eliam. Ola iste eliam. Forokoro. I am so sorry, it's so dark.